What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Funko 411. So as we speak, Funko is in the middle of announcing all of their 2022 Funko Ween products. So I thought it would be fun if we did a little bit of a flashback and take a look at the 2021 Funko Ween announcements. So I pulled out all the sodas that they announced last year. Some of them, ironically, actually just were released, like the Freddy Vampire. But I figured we'd go ahead and rip into all these. These are all sealed cans. Thought it would be fun to do that. A little bit of a flashback. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so before we get into this, some of you might actually be looking at these and thinking to yourself that there is one soda that's actually missing from this pile. Uh, if you know what that soda is, go down and leave me a comment right now and say, you forgot blank. Let me know who I forgot because there is one soda missing. I left this one out because it didn't really actually feel like a Halloween soda. I'm kind of giving you a hint in, if you don't know already. Uh, but I didn't really feel like it, it fit with this group, so I left it out. But we'll go ahead and let's get started. Why don't we start off with Harlequin Demon. Now that is definitely a Halloween related soda. So we'll open him up. And as you can see on the side here, just for fun, I did throw some of the other big grail Halloween related sodas on the side there. I think Booberry might have been from the announcements the year before that. So I thought that would be fun to show off some stuff. But anyway, here is Harlequin Demon, our first one. Ready? One, two, three. And it is a common. Common Harlequin Demon, one in 8,400. Take a look at it. There he is, Harlequin Demon. Cool, this one was one, one of the first time that they did something kind of cool with the mold where he has kind of like the floating, floating head. So that's a neat one. So before we open the next one, I did want to mention that the Booberry, the Fruit Brute, and the Count Chocula that they released in 2021 actually don't have a Chase variant. These were kind of technically like a re-release of the original ones that I have over here. So these don't have a Chase variant, but I figured it would still be fun to open them up. These are just one in 5,000 piece sodas, um, and we'll take a look at them. They, they're really cool. They're great sodas, but they are just re-releases of the same molds that came out in 2020. So let's go ahead and get into Ash and then maybe we'll open those three. Ash was a cool one. This was one that I was really excited about when they announced it because I'm a big horror fan. Halloween stuff is definitely right up my alley. So here's Ash. Let's see what we got. Ready? One, two, three. It is common. One in 8400 Ash. So there is Ash, and he's got his gun. The chase version of him is bloody. It definitely would have been cool if they had done like the chainsaw or something else, but it seems like with a lot of the horror sodas, they kind of just do the blood splatter because it's probably the easiest thing to do. But anyway, there is Ash. All right, so let's take a look at these three, the Booberry, the Count Chocula, and the Fruit Brute. And these, like I said, they don't have a chase, so they do have a pog but they're just one in 5,000. So there is the Glow Booberry. It's pretty cool. I mean, obviously Funko realized after the sodas kind of blew up that they probably made too few of some of these. So this was a naturally going to happen where they're gonna re-release certain figures that were really popular, basically as variants. They're gonna do this with other figures. They did it with the turtles. They're gonna do it with a lot more. So be, you know, be prepared for that, but still a cool soda. And let's do Count Chocula next. Again, just gonna have a common pog. This is gonna be the metallic Count Chocula. This one I thought is cool because it's, it's a nice difference compared to the common version of the original Count Chocula. So now you have like the matte version of this, you have the metallic, and then you have the chase over here. So that's cool. That's a nice one to add. And then the last one from the group that don't have a chase is Fruit Brute. And you know, a second ago, I kind of focused on the fact that Funko just wanted to make a little extra money. And you know, that's definitely true. They did want to make some more money, but it also gave collectors a chance to go back. You know, people who missed out on sodas at the very beginning, 
It gave those people a chance to go back and get some of these figures. There is Flock Fruper. And again, this one to me is a cool variant. Also, it's nice to get the Flock version of Fruit Brute and that looks, you know, looks really great. They did a good, good job with that. Back to the ones that do have Chase variants. Here is Barrel. This guy, I I really like this figure, but for some reason, he was not super popular. I mean, they, they made 10,000 and that seems like a fair amount for a character from Nightmare Before Christmas, but he wasn't super popular. But anyway, we'll take a look at him. He's a good one. Hopefully we get a Chase. Let's see. There's the common. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, we did get a chase. The unmasked barrel. Nice. So there is the pog unmasked barrel. And again, that's what the common looks like. And now we can take a look at the chase. That's awesome. I was I was definitely a little worried doing kind of like a rewind video and, and pulling out some old sodas that I know I've already opened that maybe I wouldn't even pull any chases. So definitely cool to grab a chase there is barrel see i mean look at that soda it looks great it, they did an awesome job with it but maybe they just produced a little too many for the character but if you're a nightmare before christmas fan a horror fan disney fan this is a cool one to grab there is barrel and like we've been doing the past few videos we will put the pog out here so you can see the chase pog and the figure so there is barrel Let's do, who do you want to do? You want to do Vampire Mickey? This was one that everybody was super, super hyped about. They made 15,000. I think there was an international version of this one too. So there's a lot of this va Vampire Mickey out there, but everybody's really hyped about this one. Um, it's a really great soda. It's a good one. But let's see what we got. Ready? One, two, three. It is a common, just the common Vampire Mickey. So there is Vampire Mickey, really cool one. The the chase is, in my opinion, not quite as good as the common. You know, sometimes Funko does that. They, you know, rightfully they put the they make the common a little bit better looking because they know that's what most people are gonna get. But in this case, it's definitely true. The common looks a little bit better. All right, next one. How about we do a Spooky Space Kook? This one's been popular recently because of all the Scooby Doo sodas that they released the big cooler of sodas so everybody's wanting to finish off their set of bad guys spooky space kook let's see what we got for him this would be an awesome chase to pull but let's see what we got ready one two three and it is a gun spooky space kook one in 6250 and there he is and similar to that harlequin demon that we looked at before he's also got sort of that floating head look to him everybody really loved that it looks awesome they did a really good job with that so there he is spooky space kook all right i know that you think i'm going to wait until the end to do vampire freddy so i'm not i'm going to do it right now i have not pulled a chase of vampire freddy yet i only opened two of these on a prior video and had no luck so maybe third time is the charm or maybe the third time is going to be more commons but there's the common it's a really really great soda hopefully we pull the chase ready one two three it is a common and it is crazy to think that this was announced this time last year and then at the same time we actually only just got it a few weeks ago i mean i guess it, you know it's crazy but not so crazy because everything going on in the world it's not really that insane to think that a toy would get delayed so that's you know that's just how it is but really great soda this is one that i mean they made a decent amount of them but collectors are going to grab these and hold these they are not going to sell them i think a lot of people are going to hold on to these so if you don't have it you can get it for a really good deal right now grab it for 15 20 bucks if you can there is vampire freddy okay how about we do peter venkman so they've done two of the ghostbusters they still have i mean they still have a lot more ghostbuster stuff that they could do they've done stay puff they did vins they did um egon spangler so they have a lot more that they can do i've seen leaks that they're going to do slimer so there'll be more ghostbusters for sure all right let's see what we got ready one two three 
Hey, it is a Chase Slime Peter Venkman. One in 2000. Nice. Let's take a look at him. All right, not too bad. We got two. That's pretty good. That is actually way better than I thought we would do. So there is Venkman. Oh, I'm not on camera. <laughs> there he is with the green slime all over him. That's cool. You know, honestly, I think the green slime compared to doing like the blood splatter on some of the horror pop, that at least looks cool. It looks more intentional. Like they actually put it in spots where <laughs> it made sense rather than the blood splatter that's just kind of like poked around everywhere. But there is Peter Venkman. Let's take our pog, put it over here with a barrel. So there's our second chase of the day, Peter Venkman. All right, we got two more. Two left, let's do Sully. Sully was super, super highly anticipated when they announced him. And I mean, they knocked it out of the park with this one. This one is still one of the most popular in my opinion. They, they made a decent amount of them, but the flock Sully is what we're looking for if we get the chase. Otherwise, it's just gonna be the normal Sully. Ready, one, two, three. No way! Two in a row, flock Sully, one in 2000. Jeez, that is awesome. That is pretty solid. Cause how many, I don't even know, how many sodas did we have today? I don't even know, either way, three out of however many, plus we had the three that were no chase variants at all. There is Sully. Check that out, that looks great. The flock on him looks awesome. There's Sully. That's a great chase. I like. I even like how they did the tail. They kind of swerved it off to the side. He's got his big oversized feet. It looks great. They did an awesome job with him. So I'm sure we'll see many more Monsters, Inc. We've already seen George Sanderson, so I'm sure we'll see Mike Wazowski at some point, but there is Sully. I'll put him right here. Let's get his pog out. So that is three chases. All right, not too shabby at all. That means we got one left. We got Corpse Bride. This was actually my favorite from all those announcements. She is definitely up there. Corpse Bride, one of the best. So here is Corpse Bride. Ready? One, two, three. And she's a common, just a common one in 8,700 on the Corpse Bride. Did a great job on the figure as a whole, but the, the mold itself is really what does it. They just did a really great job. So no chase on the Corpse Bride, but you know what? We opened 12 sodas and we got three chases. So three out of 12 is pretty darn good. You guys let me know what you thought of the three chases we pulled. Let me know what you thought of the 2021 Funko Ween announcements and all these sodas. Hopefully Funko steps up their game even more this year with the 2022 announcements. Maybe by the time you watch this video, some of those announcements will have already been released and you can let me know in the comments what you thought of those. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button before you head out. And if you haven't subscribed, you gotta hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button because then you'll get notified when I post new videos, stuff like that. Do all that stuff and I'll see you on the next one.